Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food and I am here today to share an Aldi haul. I have not been to Aldi in a couple of months since the pandemic started and so um, there was a bunch of stuff that I needed so I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I'm going to split up this haul. I'm going to show you all the frozen stuff first, put it up, and then I will come back and show you the rest of the stuff. I spent about $103 and some change, so let's get started. So, um, and oh, I forgot to mention, I will link the Aldi haul that I did back in March in the description box if you want to see uh, what I picked up then. But um, last time I picked up the French toast sticks and they were really good. These are only $1.99 a box and I went through them pretty quickly. So I grabbed two boxes of the French toast sticks. I also grabbed some coleslaw mix because I'm going to be using that for a recipe. Um, their seasonal items that they had out were these mini um, ice cream cookie sandwiches, vanilla, so it's a chocolate cookie with vanilla um, ice cream. And then they had these dessert bars. So you get two of them in there. And then if you have never tried their cheesecake, it's really good. These were $1.99 each, so I just got the plain New York style, and then I got turtle. You get two slices in there. I needed some sour cream. I've never bought their sour cream before. Usually I like Daisy, but this is what they had, so I grabbed that. And then I also grabbed some honey vanilla Greek yogurt. It's a large container, 32 ounces. I've been craving some sweet corn, so I grabbed that. And then they also had General Tso's chicken, and it looked pretty good to me. I love Asian food, so I wanted to give that a try. Last time during my Aldi haul, I grabbed these chicken patties for the first time, and my husband and I really liked them, so I grabbed another bag. I think these were $2.99 or $3.99 a bag. Then I grabbed some steak fries, grabbed some cheese. I was looking for a shredded mozzarella, they didn't have that, but I did grab two of the Colby Jack, two Monterey Jack, and one of the Extra Sharp. I grabbed this 10 ounce package of chopped spinach for a recipe that I'm gonna try. And then I grabbed two bags of frozen green beans. Um, I grabbed some Italian salad. I wanted the Caesar and the Caesar salad kit. Um, the expiration date was a lot further out, but the lettuce just didn't look good. So I just grabbed a regular Italian salad package. And then I grabbed three packages of green onions. I love green onions, I, love, I use them a lot, and I discovered that you can freeze green onions. So what I do is I wash them, and then I dry them, and then I dice them, and I put them in a plastic container. I put them in the refrigerator and um, let them freeze for about an hour. Then I go and then shake them up and put them back in the freezer. And then I do that about two more times. That way you have frozen green onions whenever you need them, and they're not all stuck together. And when I use them for a recipe, I just throw them in the recipe frozen and they are just fine. Also grabbed a head of cabbage. I plan on making some fried cabbage. And then I also, I've never tried their um, frozen pizza. So I decided to give this one a try, Mama Cozy's. I looked at the ingredients and the cheese is actually real mozzarella, not that imitation stuff. So I decided to give that a try and I figured if we wanted to add our own toppings to it, we could. So this is it for all the refrigerator and frozen stuff. Let me put this stuff up and then I'll show you all the pantry items that I picked up. Okay, so let me show you the pantry items that I picked up. So I was so excited to finally find some flour. I have not been able to find um, a bag of flour since this whole pandemic started. Aldi does have a limit on flour and sugar. You can only get one per customer. So I grabbed that. Um, I also grabbed some salsa. I've never tried Aldi salsa before, but I do like restaurant style, so I grabbed that. And then they also had, um, I also grabbed, I should say, this tomato and basil organic. I think this was less than two bucks. And I liked it because it doesn't have any sugar in it. It's all just kind of natural stuff, as you can see right there. I've also been doing a lot of baking, probably like most of you guys, so I needed some brown sugar. And then I also grabbed two boxes of organic mac and cheese. I got the elbow noodle one and then the shells. 
I needed some crackers. I've been eating a lot of cheese and crackers, stuff like that. And then my last Aldi haul, I discovered these Chewy Dipped and I really, really like them a lot. So I decided to try both types this time. I think last time I got peanut butter um, and this time I got the chocolate chip as well. Now I do really like them a lot, but they are very, very small, um, but they're good. One of their seasonal items was this lemon pound cake mix, so I grabbed that. And then I really love these caramel coconut fudge cookies. They really remind me of the um, Girl Scout cookies. But these were, I think, $1.39. And then I grabbed a couple of skillet meals for quick dinners. By the way, our what's for dinner videos come out on Tuesday. And like you guys, I'm sure you've been doing a lot more cooking than normal. So I wanted to have some fast stuff on hand. I don't think I've ever tried their um, jambalaya mix or their dirty rice mix before, but all you do is add meat. So I grabbed that. Then I grabbed some four cans of green beans. Now Aldi does have a limit on their canned items now. You can't have, there's a limit of four items per canned item, that doesn't make sense. So it means you can't, you can only get four green beans, um, four corn, four whatever. There's a limit on the type of canned goods that you can get. I got two cans of tomato soup for some recipes. And then I've needed, I've been looking for, well I needed, I should say, almond butter. I didn't know Aldi sold it. To me this was a little expensive, 12 ounces, and it was almost five bucks. And then we needed some salad dressing. So I got some classic Caesar, and then they also have a new line of Simply. So it has simple ingredients in there, so I grabbed that. And then um, we've been making pizzas, and so they have this artisan flatbread, you get two in a pack, so uh, my husband and I can each make our own pizza. And then I grabbed some bread, because I plan on having grilled cheese sandwiches, and I also plan on making some chicken salad, so I needed bread for that. I've been using potatoes a lot more, grabbed a bag of potatoes, and then I needed some onions as well. And then I got a bag of mini avocados for my husband. So this is it. This is my Aldi haul. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, I certainly hope you'll do so. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time.